Track, what's the biggest challenge right now when you're going into these games, not necessarily knowing how many or which receivers are going to be available every week? Um, yeah, it, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, um, not just for myself, but for everyone. Um, just how quick things can, can change and how fast it can spread. And, um, you know, it, it is it is tough. But, um, you know, from my point of, point of view uh, and my approach is, um, you know, whoever we have out there, um, whoever's available to play, we're, we're going to be ready to go play. I and mean, we're going to be ready to go and compete. And I'm going to make sure whoever I have uh, with me that they're going to be ready and they're going to be confident. Um, and, you know, a lot of that is, is, you know, our work throughout the week and leading up to the game is, you know, in practice and uh, watching film together and all those types of things, um, you know, is it, going to be a, a big emphasis for me as far as just building confidence and building trust and, um, you know, continuity as much as we can because it's a challenging time. It's a challenging time and yet alone injuries, but with COVID, there's just so much – uh, that can take place and um, as far as who's going to be available to play on Saturday. But, uh, you know, in saying that, that's out of my control as well. And I, uh, I can't worry about that and I won't worry about that. And, um, you know, I, I just have a lot of, a lot of confidence in, in myself and our coaching staff as far as our game plan and getting guys ready, getting putting guys in the right spot uh, to make plays um, and then just – building confidence throughout the week to whenever those opportunities present themselves on, on Saturday, we're ready to go and we make those plays. And one, one more kind of big question, big picture question for you, but when you think back to you, the year you spent with coach Kleiman, what's the biggest thing he's proven to you as a coach so far? Um, he has proven to me to be calm, cool, and collected through everything. I mean, he, does not waver to anything and he never gets too high. He never gets too low. He just stays even keeled the entire time. And you can never, you can never tell if he is, is mad, upset, happy. I mean, he, he just stays, you know, even keeled. And I think as our head football coach and a guy that I look up to a lot, um, in a football aspect and uh, outside of football. I just think that's a huge, huge character trait that is so important uh, in life and in the game of football, um, especially in a guy in my position, um, in the position that I play. Um, that, that's a big emphasis for me uh, is, is being calm, cool, and collected through, through it all. And to have a leader like that to look up to and and see him do it firsthand um it helps me and it helps our whole entire football team um you know the past five months have been a whirlwind i mean we march 6th we got shut down and said not to come back to campus and we didn't know what was going to happen and we get back here in june and then we get shut down for another two weeks and then we get back here again kind of getting a routine then everybody everybody you know the big 10 and big uh, Pac-12 is canceling their seasons and we're thinking we're not going to have a season. Um, it's just been a, it's been a roller coaster of emotions, but through it all, Coach Kleiman has just been just right here, you know, the whole time. And um, I think that has helped me a lot in this process as far as, you know, reflecting the same, the same character and controlling what I can't control. Uh, and he, he's been preaching that to me uh, over and over again um, and just instilling in me, you know, just, just being confident. I think that it's one one thing I'm super, super uh, thankful and just blessed to be in the situation with him uh, as my football coach. You know, he is an open line of communication and he has um, on a consistent basis just instilled his confidence in me and his belief in me to lead this football team. Um, and I think for me as a player, hearing my head football coach tell me that to my face, um, and show me that with his with his actions on a consistent basis just gives me a lot of confidence, um, and it helps our entire football team, you know, and, and and builds confidence with us all. Scott Fritchin.
Skyler, hey man, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Hey, uh, as you mentioned, the game is ever changing. You don't know exactly who's going to be out there with you, but you continue to go along. Um, I was just curious, in what ways have you seen yourself grow despite all the uncertainty over the, the past week, two weeks, three weeks? And just what are your thoughts, man, now that it's your senior season, what are your thoughts going into this final year? You know, it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. I've had a lot of family reach out to me this week just talking about, you know, this This is the last one, you know. And especially my, my dad um, called me over the weekend and, you know, talking to him and just shooting texts back and forth. It's just like, you know, I've been playing this game since I was in third grade. And, you know, it's been a long, long journey and lots of fun, lots of memories. And this game has has taught me a ton, taught me a ton. And, um, it, and the game means a ton to me. Um, and I've always had a lot of value in football uh, just from – what I've been through in my life, um, it's always been been my rock, you know, and has always, always just been there uh, for me. And, you know, this is, this is my last run at it. And, um, you know, I just, my family's really just try to drill into my head to, to cherish every moment, every moment. And especially in, you know, the situations we have now, you know, it could be over uh, at any given point in time. And you never know when that last game could be, um, you know, with COVID or just having an injury, you just never know. Um, and as much as this game means a ton to me, um, you know, it's it's truly a gift that that I've been fortunate um, to, to be blessed with. And, and I think that's, my perspective uh, and my approach towards this last year is is how much of a of a gift this game is for me to use my platform uh, as a person as a player um, to just go have fun just go have fun and and impact others to serve others and 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 play the game the right way you know I think that's that's the biggest thing for me um, as much as this game means a lot to me it's not you know my my identity it's not who who I am truly and what happens out in the field doesn't define who I who I am off the field or um in, in that you know general sense it's it's a game meant to, to have fun and I think that's uh coach Klein has really been you know drilling that in my head too um from his, his experience too is obviously going through the same situation and being a senior and there's a lot of last you know and um, he just has been telling me to just go have fun, just go have fun and enjoy this game because that's, that's how it's meant to, to be. And, you know, through the past couple of weeks and, and three weeks, that's, uh, it's really, you know, we finally get to go play Saturday and it's like, man, it's didn't think this day would come I, honestly at one, at one point in time. So uh, truly it's just a, it's a blessing to, um, to be here and, to be preparing for, for a game this week. I'm so excited and I, I just can't wait, can't wait to go out there and, and compete. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing is I'm ready to go and compete. I'm ready to go get hit a little bit. Um, I'm ready to make some plays. I'm ready to have fun with my teammates and just make memories that, that I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And I think that's, uh, that's the biggest thing for me. I, I'm just so, so excited. And I know K state fans, I know, our fan base, or, you know, our families, our friends, everybody's just so excited to go see us out there and go play. And, and ultimately that, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And, and I'm so excited to go, go play and compete for, for our fan base and my family and my friends and, and just go, go cut it loose and have fun. Thank you so much. Yeah. Adam. Skyler, as Arkansas State is coming up, what's it going to feel like for you and your hometown friend, Briley, to play in your first game together? I'll tell you what, we, we've been talking about it a lot, um, obviously. And 
it was even, you know, this weekend we were texting back and forth during the Memphis game when they were playing Memphis and just like, man, like it, it's, it's really here. Like we're about to, we're about to go strap it up and have the same uniform on and go compete and play together. And for me and Briley, uh, you know, I feel like him and I are personally uh, very similar as far as just our approach on in, in life and our values and, and he, he, you know, he means a lot to me. He means a lot to me. And uh, I'm just so excited and so excited for him to have this opportunity to play, play on the stage and play in our offense. Cause he, he's going to help us out so much um, in the run game, pass game. Um, but uh, above all that, he's just a great person. He's a great leader and he's been here for three months and has already earned the respect of, of his teammates and, and guys respect him and, and look up to him. And uh, with our position group, with his position group at, at tight end, we have some younger guys in that room who are very talented and having a guy like Briley in that room who's had experience, who understands the game really well, being able to look up to him and learn from him, ask questions, uh, all that type of stuff has, has been super, super helpful for our football team. Um, and, and now it's, for, for him and I, it's just about going out there and having fun together, you know, and, and this is what we've talked about for our entire life, you know, getting an opportunity to go and play and, and, and be on the same team together. And, and now it's here, you know, and um, I'm just super excited to go out there and, and, and make memories with him and, and, and make plays and just make plays because I got a lot of confidence in him and, um, and I know he's excited. I know he'll be ready to play. Um, and, and he's, he's going to, he's going to really help this football team with the way that he, he brings just an edge. I, I know, I know Briley and I've seen a little bit out at practice, but, um, when the, when the real bullets get, get firing, he, he's a competitive dude and, and he brings a lot of, a lot of confidence and has the edge to him. That's going to, that's going to rub off on people around him. And I just can't wait to have that on offense. The time for a couple more. We'll go John and then Saran. Go ahead, John. Yeah, hey Skylar, how many different running backs have you had to utilize in the passing game now, and how much has that changed this year based on past years because of the the COVID situation, making sure everybody's ready? Um, you know, I, I in in our system in general, we're going to use four to five running backs, um, and uh, it, it is important to to have a a solid group of four or five guys that understand what's going on, understanding our our game plan, understanding the role, understanding our, understanding our schemes. Um, and, you know, we have, we have a solid group, you know, Tyler Burns, Terry Trotter, Jacardier, Wright, uh, Deuce Vaughn and Kenyon Mosey. Um, all of those guys are going to make, going to make plays and be part of our, be part of, be part of our game plan. And I think each one of them understand their role and understand what, what they have to, you know, to bring to the team team and it doesn't matter if you're a true freshman or a fifth year senior you know you're you're going to be a guy that, that we're going to count on and and every single one of them uh are, are very uh capable of, of making making a lot of plays and they each have their own skill set I think that's what's super unique is each of them are are really good um at certain things and and understand their strengths and weaknesses and our coaches do as well and the, they're going to put them in spots to make plays and for me, with the younger guys, with Deuce and, and Mosey um, and, and even Jacardier is just, um, for me, just instilling confidence in them. And, you know, I've been in their position before as a young player playing and, you know, there can be a lot of pressure. There can be a lot of, um, you know, anxiety a little bit going into games, just uh, not wanting to mess up or not wanting to let your team down. And just letting them know that, you know, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to mess up and I'm, I'm going to mess up and, and make mistakes. And that's just part of the game. But uh, when you get on the field you got to take advantage of your opportunity and, and make the most of it. And, and I know those guys will, and I'm super excited to, to get on the field and, and make plays with them. Last one here, Saran. Uh, Scott, I'm curious what through this whole experience has been uh, the, the COVID experience, right? And having everything be different. I know you mentioned the starts and stops that you guys have been going through, but what's been the most difficult thing uh, for you as a, as a student, as an athlete and trying to get through? Is it staying away from folks? Is it not being able to just go hang out? What, 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 what have you found has been the most difficult thing? 
Um, I would, uh, it, it's been, uh, you know, difficult in a lot of different ways, but if I were to, to, to really, you know, the uncertainty aspect is super, super hard um, through this process of how things can, can change in, in a blink of an eye and nothing's guaranteed. Um, I think that that is hard to, um, to wrap your mind around, wrap my mind around and, and understand. Um, but at the same time, I also know and understand that that's, it's out of my control that aspect of it is, but what is under my control and, and is hard and is going to be very hard during the season. Um, I haven't really had to, to deal with it yet, but, um, you know, seeing my family, you know, after games, um, you know, I've already talked to my family, you know, my dad's a principal, my mom's a teacher, my little brother's in school. Um, they're going to be around tons of people all the time. You know, we've had to have some some tough conversations as far as, you know, after games. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what it's going to look like as far as being able to see them. Um, and if I do, it's probably going to be from a social, socially distant aspect, and I'm going to have a mask on, and not probably it, that. That's how it will be. Um, and, you know, for me, you know, that that's a big big part of who I am is my family and getting to spend time with them. Um, and especially on, on weekends of games, uh, you know, a, a big routine thing that I have uh, is the night before games uh, at our hotel. My dad always came and visited me, and it was just him and I. And that was really the time of the week where, you know, I really look forward to every week because it was a moment where it was just my dad and I. I didn't have a bunch of other people um, trying to talk to me or, uh, visit with me and I could just sit there and just talk to my dad and and have you know some really quality father father son time and you know talk about the game plan talk about how I'm feeling and my dad just just you know tell me how proud he, he was of me or just talk about you know just memories of me being a little kid just having conversations with my with my dad and um in those types of moments what I always cherish and really take take a lot of you know pride in and and value to um and the you know that not being realistic this year uh is going to be tough um but at the same time uh just like what we're doing right now having technology you know there's there's ways that we can still get that done uh just maybe through through a phone um but like like I, like I said, we all understand. My parents understand. My family understands. Everybody who's going to come out here and and come watch me play and support me from my family and friend friend aspect understands the sacrifice that it's going to take for me. Uh, and, and understanding, you know, they understand that they're a part of the sacrifice too. Um, and, and they they can't go out and and be around tons of people and put themselves in situations to 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 get this virus either. Um, and but at the same time. Um, we're, we're always going to take the, you know, the, the right uh, precautions of, of the situation. Um, in in my living situation, I only live with, with one other person and um, happens to be Coach Kleiman's son, Devin. So, uh, you know, him and I both are, are very understanding of, of the situation. And, you know, we're, we're all about the team. And, and Devin, Devin is, is a special, special human being as, as far as, uh, he's a student coach here, and he he's really bought in, and he, and he cares about our football team as well. And he's not going to put himself in in a position to to get sick either. Um, and uh, you know, we both understand like we gotta we're gonna have to do a lot and, and sacrifice a lot. Um, but at the end of the day, we want to play football, and ultimately, that's what's most important right now. And and everybody in my life, and and his life, and and everybody understands that. And so this is going to be a process that we're going to have to work through and, and understand and make the most of, you know, having a six feet conversation with my family. It'll, it'll, it'll be good and we'll, we'll make the most of it.